Have you ever wondered why only Earth can support life? In this huge universe filled with billions of planets, why does it seem like our world is the only one that works? The truth is, not every planet gets the right mix of conditions to make life possible. It's like baking a perfect cake. You need just the right ingredients. And if even one thing is off, everything falls apart. To be called habitable, a planet has to be in a perfect zone where it's not too hot, not too cold. It needs air to breathe, water to drink, and a way to stay safe from deadly space radiation. These are not just random things. They're the reasons you and I can stand here and breathe right now. So today, let's explore what it really takes for a planet to support life and find out why Earth might be one in a billion. Every star has a sweet spot around it, a perfect distance where a planet can be warm enough for liquid water, but not so close that everything boils away. Scientists call it the Goldilocks zone because, just like in the fairy tale, it's not too hot and not too cold. It's just right. Our Earth sits in that perfect place around the sun. That's why oceans can stay liquid, rain can fall, and life can grow. Move a little closer, and Earth would turn into a dry, burning desert like Venus. Move a little farther, and it would freeze into an icy world like Mars. The Goldilocks zone is the first big rule for life. If a planet is too hot, Water can't stay on its surface. If it's too cold, water turns to ice and life can't begin. But even being in the right spot doesn't guarantee life. It's just the start. A planet could be sitting perfectly in its zone and still be completely lifeless. Why? Because it also needs an atmosphere, something to protect it and keep that perfect temperature stable. So the Goldilocks zone is like a stage. It sets the right lighting, but the rest of the show still needs the actors, the air, the water, and everything else that makes life possible. Imagine standing on a planet with no air. You wouldn't last even one second. Because the atmosphere is more than just something we breathe. It's a shield, a blanket, and a life support system all at once. Earth's atmosphere protects us from deadly radiation from the sun. It burns up meteors before they hit the ground, and it keeps our planet warm enough for water and life to exist. Without it, our days would be boiling hot, and our nights would freeze like deep space. That's what happened to Mars. Long ago, Mars had rivers and lakes, but when its atmosphere faded away, the water disappeared, and so did the chance for life to survive. The right atmosphere also helps balance gases like oxygen, carbon dioxide, and nitrogen. They work together like an invisible team, making sure our planet doesn't overheat or freeze. So when scientists look for other habitable planets, they don't just ask, is it in the right zone? They also ask, does it have an atmosphere to protect and nurture life? Because even if a planet sits in the perfect spot, without that thin layer of gas, it's nothing more than a silent, empty rock floating in space. Water is the heart of life. Every living thing we know needs it. 
From the smallest bacteria to the biggest whale, nothing can survive without water. Here on Earth, water shapes everything. It flows through our rivers, fills our oceans, and cycles through the clouds in the sky. It helps plants grow, keeps animals alive, and even cools our planet's temperature. When scientists search for other worlds, the first question they ask is simple. Does it have water? Because where there's water, there might be life. But it's not just about having water. It's about having the right kind. Liquid water. Not ice that's locked away forever. And not vapor that disappears into space. That's why planets like Mars and Europa, moon of Jupiter, are so exciting. They may have hidden oceans beneath their frozen surfaces. And that means there could be something living down there, waiting to be found. So if the Goldilocks zone is the stage and the atmosphere is the roof, then water is the main actor. Without it, there's no story, no life, no chance for a planet to truly be called home. A planet's surface and core are like its bones and heart. They decide if the world can stand strong and stay alive for billions of years. Deep beneath our feet, Earth has a metal core made mostly of iron and nickel. That spinning metal creates something amazing. A magnetic field. This invisible shield protects us from deadly solar radiation. It keeps the atmosphere from being blown away by the sun's powerful winds. Without it, our air would slowly fade into space, just like what happened to Mars. The planet's composition also matters. It needs the right mix of rocks and metals to hold heat, to create volcanoes and to recycle carbon dioxide through its crust. That's how Earth stays warm enough for life, even when space is freezing cold. A planet made only of gas. Like Jupiter can't be home for humans. There's no solid ground, no place to stand, and the pressure would crush anything. So when scientists search the stars, they look for planets with a rocky surface, a steady rotation, and a strong magnetic field, because those are the signs of a world that can protect itself. In the end, a planet isn't just a ball of dirt and rock. It's a living system, and every layer from the iron core to the outer sky works together to keep life safe. When we think about all the things a planet needs to support life, it's hard not to feel amazed at how perfectly Earth fits the checklist, the right distance from the sun, a balanced atmosphere liquid, water, a strong magnetic field, and a solid surface full of life. It's like winning the biggest cosmic lottery, and somehow we got the golden ticket. Every breath we take, every drop of rain, every sunrise we see, happens because our planet is balanced in ways most worlds could only dream of. Out there in the vast darkness of space, Scientists keep searching, hoping to find another Earth, another place that proves we're not alone. But maybe the most important thing we can learn from this search is not just about finding new worlds. It's about appreciating the one we already have. Because if life is truly rare, then protecting Earth isn't just important. It's our greatest responsibility. So before we look to the stars, let's make sure the planet we call home stays alive for generations to come.